friends, welcome back. Hello. So we've just decided to title it Nep and Ursa Draws Insert <laughs> because it's Yeah, easy. it's just easier. <laughs> and like saves my life. Um trouble. So as you can see on the video, today we're doing Tokyo Mew Mew. We made Cernan. We because did. of the new anime that is currently in production. Or like the re animation. I can't remember. Dude, I'm excited for it, but I like know nothing about it. <laughs> I just know what's happening. Same. Yeah, same. I just know what's happening. I think it's got like the same like design or something like that. It had like one of the same like stuff as the original. Okay. That's all I remember. All I hope is that they do a better job than fucking say shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think we're past 30 <laughs> seconds, so I think it's fine. Um, <laughs> we'll find out in first. Well, yeah. If there's a Yoshi sound, you know that I cannot contain myself. I just hope that it's um, not like the people who did Sailor Moon Crystal that tried to yeah. make it look like the manga, and then it was just ugly and terribly animated, and they cut so much corners, and they cut so much yeah, like, expression I... and action I heard it, the corners like, oh. don't get cut. Yeah. Cause like, I mean, oh. they knew they were gonna make money cause it's Sailor Moon, right? So like, yeah. I just hope it's not the same. Um, also, before we move move on, um, we do have two more episodes in the works right now. Um, and for those ones, we'll actually be joined by some special guests. So I'm gonna put yeah. the, um, links and everything so you can find them. So one of them is gonna be our dear friend. Okay, <laughs> of course I record and somebody's just, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought that was, just, like, the cat doing something. No, it's somebody outside. <laughs> so. Anyway. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go close the door. Fuck. I think you can still hear it a little bit. No, I think it's less obvious now. Okay. But yeah, no. It's been quiet all all day. All goddamn day. And just just right now. Just right now. It's like, yeah, I guess we're gonna hit something. Fuck it. <laughs> um anyway, our special guest <laughs> uh is gonna be our dear friend Shimpai! Here's our her links for Shimpai Erevir uh Wait, what's the current just called fucking The Big Horny <laughs> the big... Well I was just gonna put her YouTube and her Twitter. I was gonna put her Discord. <laughs> well we don't know the Discord's not gonna be there, but you know, you gotta you gotta share some of the right. um behind the scenes. The behind the scenes, so Yeah. That's fair. Um, and then our other guest is gonna be our other super amazing friend, Zambi. Gayest rat in Kentucky. The gayest rat in Kentucky, and Does it's music. magic. What? Crap! What's her Twitter handle? Like. Ma uh, it's different, but we'll put it in the we'll put it in the description below. Yeah, <laughs> she's like both of them are super cool, super great artists. We already have some fun things planned for them, but um, again. Please leave your suggestions for what you want us to cover in future episodes, and we'll get around to it and see what we can do for you. All right, let's get on to this. We've talked enough already. Uh, Ursa, you are going yeah. first today. Uh, do you yeah. want to say anything before we start? Um, I guess I can like kind of like briefly talk about this. Yeah, tell us like what animal you did and stuff. Um, okay, so obviously. I went with a bear. Specifically, <laughs> I went with a sun bear because those are tech those are not quite endangered, but they're vulnerable status. A lot of bears are currently at a vulnerable status, but I went with sun bears specifically because I've done like research on them in the past, and it's like they go through some shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked. Poor sun bears. Um, and I chose the name Mew Honey because I was like, oh fuck, Just like bear, bear, honey. I'm super basic. Your suit better be orange, or I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say yellow. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Yes, eh. Of course, because I really like yellow as well. You know what? That's that. totally. That's like one of the reasons I chose honey because it's like yellow. Like, but I'm, yeah. I'm so envious of people who like yellow and use yellow. I'm literally wearing a yellow jacket right now. I just don't like yellow. But I see artists who are really good with yellow, and I get very jealous because I was like, "Fuck, I want, I want that. I want that to be me." Because I like those warm tones, but at the same time, I'm like yellow. <laughs> like I just, I mean, I don't draw with it much. It's gross. I don't draw with it much, but I wear it a lot. Yeah. I kind of sketched it out on paper first, and then just kind of took that into clip because I was like, "Fuck it, I'm <laughs> a little lazy." Dude, that's totally okay. I ended up uh, totally forgetting to record my sketch, so... Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. I have to start from line art anyway, so it's kind of fitting. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let's just say, a lot of the time I like sketching it out on paper first, so I have, like, an idea of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um... And I was really, like, happy with, like, a lot of it. Yeah, it's a really cute pose. Yeah. It's just... Fuck around with the eyes for a little bit because I'm very picky and very meticulous with everything I do. I fucking apparently. Dude, um... Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I went with like just a very simple outfit. Um, I realized towards the end that I was like... Wood's kind of looking like cowboy boots and I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I still kept it anyway and I had to have, obviously, have like Bibble Bee. But, um, yeah, fuck around. Very essential. Boobie. Very essential to my aesthetics. Um, I fucked around with the eyes again, because it's. Uh, then I finally settled on my side of the line art. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna stay to my. Because there's always, like, one brush that I keep going back to for, like, everything, because it's just, like. It's very. pencil y, in a way. Yeah. No, like, I totally get it. I have, like, a chalk brush that is, like, my doodle brush. I use that extensively for doodling. Um, yeah. And then, and then I have, like, I have, like, one line art brush. And mm. then I have, like, my line art brush, but it has, like, a lower kind of, what's the word, like, transfer. So, like, it's based on print pressure. Ah. Um, to depend on how, like, uh, opaque it is. Is that the word? Yeah, 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 I get that. Like, the um, pressure of it. Yeah, and so that's what I use for, like, my shading and stuff exclusively. I use a total of three brushes. God, I wish that were me. I don't even want to talk about how many brushes that I have between my iPad and my, like, PC. Because I have, like, I don't even have, like, some of the brushes I have are the same. Some of them I have, like, I don't have on my PC or I don't have on my iPad, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even use these, but every time I go into clip, like, clip assets, I'm like, ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. Oh, ooh, pretty. Forget that. That seems nice. I haven't gone into it yet. I, I just got Clip Studio. I haven't gone into the asset store yet. Mainly just because I'm trying to, like, just focus on, like, animation and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what's fine. Um, and I think, yeah, so... I've, the design I was pretty happy with. I like the idea of like the full pant leg and then like the no pant. Like yeah, I was short. just about to say. I'm like, dude, I love it when designs give us like <laughs> half of a leg. It's it's yeah. like you're just like, you know what? I'm feeling adventurous today. I'm just I'm gonna feeling cut spicy. off one pant leg, and I'm just I live for it. I live for it, dude. Yeah, there's a couple times that I like pause and but like, I the one thing the only thing I don't like is about is like about this is like that particular leg and like how I drew the shoe because I'm like fuck the, the fuck how do you draw any kind of foot Dude, and any kind of leg it's okay. and any spot yeah so I I think I also messed up my feet too I don't know like yeah. doing like certain boots and stuff when you're like you know it should be like this and then you're at a different angle it's like sometimes you're like wait a minute <laughs> wait a fucking second yeah there's like and like there's a few times that I pause in here because I like stopped a few times to just like I don't even remember what I was looking at I just know that I was watching stuff on the side <laughs> I was actually when I was doing mine I was actually watching Tokyo Mew Mew uh, oh my god <laughs> I was like re-watching it I was like oh hey um but then I got a phone call and so like the second half of my drawing is just like me on the phone being distracted <laughs> by what this person's trying to tell me oh yeah and then like 
I fucking did the color fill and I was like, oh, there's a whole. Oh, I forgot the fucking heels of the shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cute. And then, thank you. Oh, yeah, and then, thank. The beauty of Clip is like, there was this one tool that is a like, total fill. And then I just like got like. <laughs> like my Sona drawing. So I could like. color match. Oh, and then I realized I had to un. <laughs> fucking erase some stuff and I was like, uh. Oh, man. Dude, I'm. <laughs> That's like the early like, gap side. It's like you do the fill tool and then you just like, you're like halfway through, you realize that you haven't like actually cut out like the middle parts yeah. that were properly selected. Yeah, it's so. Yeah, and then very basic color process. I just like instantly went for like a yellowy orange color. Mm -hmm. Fucked around with that for a bit. Yeah. And then I'm you ended getting up fucked changing your hair color. Yeah, I, I, I ended up changing. I went through a process okay. of brain empty. Dude, it's okay. Well, and like I feel like a lot of people who are new to art and stuff don't really understand that. That even if you have been drawing for a long time, a lot of times it's still like you're like, oh yeah, I can do this. I know how to do this. And then you'll still get into you a piece, and it. then you'll be like, well, maybe I'll do it differently today. Or maybe- I, I constantly know. do everything differently. Like, there's no consistency to what I do. Yeah, it's like, some days you're just like, you know what, I'm not feeling it doing that way, so I'm gonna do it a different way. And then you're like, like, halfway through I doing it a the... different way, you're like, why did I do it this way? Yeah. Cause I think that was like how I felt when I was shading this piece, because I was like, I didn't- Every time my- the thing that I really have to figure out with myself is just like how I want to shade things. Yeah. Because I'm never, I've never been good at it. I look at a lot of like references for when I'm shading to be like, okay, what's a good way of doing this? There's, well, and like there's so many different ways, right? And so uh, like you look up tutorials. It's overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I forgot, I forgot a fucking eyebrow even. Oh man, it's all I good. I have to draw that in after. <laughs> Um, the amount of times where I'm like, I've just forgotten to line art something, and I haven't noticed until I'm like in shading, is like, pretty embarrassing. Like, it's just like, wait a minute. Hold on a fucking minute. The only problem I find with this brush is like the in- not the in I don't know if I call it the inconsistency of it, but like... You can like, kind of see the color through the lines and stuff. Yeah, it's like not- because it's like based on your pen pressure and stuff too, right? Yeah. So like, yeah, it's based on pen pressure. It's very, get... it's very pencil, like. Yeah. Pencil y. You, you get that nice line weight and that nice texture, but at the same time, sometimes when you use it to line art, you're like, well, this sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I can't remember. All oh, right, I wanted to. I, um, and then that got to the shading. I was like, ah. <laughs> I didn't know how to fucking do this part, so I faffed around for a little bit. No, it's like, see, like, this is interesting to me. Because I like to see how people, like, try things and then go about doing it differently when it, they don't yeah. feel like it's working. So, like, I mean, I think this is really nice to see. Because, um, like, I tried out a, like, completely different brush as well, I think, than my usual. Yeah. And, like, because I, I saw, like... I got not quite a tutorial, but kind of like a. It was like. Talking about a way to do shading. So I think I was like, my brain was like kind of going into that, and I was like, yeah. okay. I feel like I definitely could have done more shading in places, or I could have done it with a better, like, light source, because I was like, again, the fuck is a light source? Um, I'm so bad about deciding the light source. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm realizing places that I forgot to fucking. <sighs> <laughs> it's okay. That's like the worst part about this is like it's interesting to see and to speed paint, but like when you're watching yourself over and you're like, wait, why didn't I do that part? Why didn't I do that part? Yeah, because I'm like it, the one thing I always do is like I color my lines. Like mm -hmm. I go over in like color, I I lock it and then I go over the lines, um, which I do in this. But then I realized that I forgot to do that on like the I guess skin parts. Uh, I, like, 
I still fine. think this shading fine. really matches your style, though, because you always have such a soft approach to things. Yeah, I... <sighs> I think the most accurate, like, the biggest testimonial I've gotten from someone who's going, Wow, you really do draw everything soft. Because <laughs> they didn't apparently believe, they didn't believe you apparently the first time. Um, <laughs> and that is generally just how I describe my style, I would probably describe my style as, it's like, it's, it's just soft. Yeah. And, because I always, I always go with, like, I try to make the hit, I, no matter what I do, the hair is always floofy. I can't help it. It gotta be floof, guys. It's gotta be floof. It's floof or bust, y'all. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> and then I added like a little bit of shine to like the body pieces, and I'm like, oh yeah, the kind, of, the technically like leather, pleather, something. Did I shade that other part? Fuck, I don't think I did. Dude, it's hair. It's okay. My, I go overboard mm. when it comes to my highlights because I really like that so like it's i wish i could be this soft honestly sometimes i'm like oh, why like... can't i be this soft oh i did oh, shit. oh yeah and then i did that oh did i wow you actually did yours right i did not <laughs> i looked up a reference see i had that reference when i drew it and then i was on the phone when i was coloring mine <laughs> i forgot yeah. to check it again but that's so cute oh my yeah. gosh um, and yeah, right, like at the end, I used like an overlay just like to make the colors a bit more like. Yeah, no, it definitely pops more. Brighter, yeah. Because I always find myself doing that. I always put like a, a very warm overlay over, so like the colors just kind of are brighter. Yeah, put... I've, I've done that too. I, I do that with gradients a lot. Yeah. But no, and yeah, so that is my uh, Mew Serna, Mew Honey. Mew Honey. Dude. Yeah, I'm very I'm actually very happy with it. Yeah, I really like like the design you did with kind of the like strapless top, but then like also the like half pants and stuff. Like Yeah. It's just, like it's a little sexy. Just a little sexy. <laughs> I mean we're adults, so you know, we get the sexier costumes. <laughs> yeah, true. Just like yeah. the wolf who I can't remember because <laughs> So I remember her English dub name, but I don't know how to pronounce her Japanese. Yeah, that's the problem. Is like I I mostly remember the like English, even though I rewatched it in Japanese after. All right. Hell yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so for mine, I went with the sea otter because Ooh. they are endangered, and I I'm obsessed with sea otters. I love them a lot. Um, they're native to where this I live so right cute. now. Um, <laughs> oh, and you choose a little weapon too. Yeah, I was just like, it has to be a seashell. <laughs> I thought about adding weapon, but I was like, I can't think of anything that's like vaguely musical other than like, I was just like, mmm, claw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, this one's kind of just like a, a maraca. Like, it's not like yeah. one of those like clappy things. Which yeah, I can't not a remember. castanet. Yeah, that's it. Because that's what lettuce has. Yeah, this one is just shake. <laughs> um, it's like yeah, one of those okay. egg shakers. Egg shaker. Hell yeah. yeah. So I um, I definitely forgot to record when sketching, so I, I do apologize for that. But um, I also halfway through this, uh, my hand started to hurt. So oh. you can tell my letter it gets a lot more heavy-handed as it goes on. Mm -hmm. But you gotta get those tired eyes in. <laughs> it's not me if I don't look like I haven't slept in the five weeks. God, I, I mean, oh god, I, real life I, I do have a lot. I think I have eye bags. I don't know. Maybe. I don't look in the mirror a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I love the like, outfit. Thank you. I was just about to say, yeah. I kind of wanted to do like one of those like full piece dresses because I think they're mm. so cute. Um, where it's kind of like kind of like shorts, but they're like really. It, it's kind of like the the monkey and uh, mint. Yeah, 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 pudding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pudding yeah. and mint. <laughs> I have no memory today. And I just kind of wanted like short little booties. Hell yeah. Um, I, you can't, like, really- I got mad at the fucking- 
Leaves just are really hard to draw. I hate <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's when my uh, hand started hurting. Oh. And I was getting mad because I was just in such a creative mood. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I was in such a creative mood and I had inspiration, but my hand was like, no. And then, like, not I today. Like, after I piled through the line art, I didn't need as much line control, so it was a little bit easier and it stopped hurting. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, like, I ended up doing, like, the... Only one of the arm puffs on one side, so... Oh, I, yeah. I like the alternating. I really love in outfit designs when it does, like, the alternating on one side. So, like, one leg has an extra thing, and then the opposite arm has an extra thing. Mm. I really like that. Yeah, but, I get um, what you mean. The design I also artist... love, like... Oh, I also sorry. love these, like, the scoffish... Yeah, well, I was thinking about it, and I was kind of just like, well, sea otters, like, their back two feet are, like, fins, because they don't really go, like, they don't really go on land very often. Hmm. Like, they do, but, like, it's mostly... It's not enough. Yeah, mostly flippers and stuff. And I didn't really want to do kind of, like, how Lettuce has her, uh, like... Antennae. Kinda. Yeah, she has like that, and then she has like the kind of like coattails. Oh um, yeah. For hers, and like I didn't really want to do that because like I was just kind of like, oh well, I really like the cute dress. I was like, oh my god, I could just do like a little harness scarf something that looks yeah. like the back feet, like the bottom feet of an otter. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do love the harness thing. And I was like, yeah, and then I can also make my boobies look bigger. <laughs> Gotta pop them out. Uh, pop dim titties and uh, yeah so this is where i do my coloring which is very fun i couldn't find what i was looking for <laughs> <laughs> at the open spot um but yeah um and then just kind of how i normally color i find coloring to be very like therapeutic a mm. lot of times no, I get that, yeah. Yeah. I'm also just trying to get the, like, um... Trying to get in the habit of just doing the, like, irises of eyes. Like a... Like a blue instead of a... A pure white. Yeah, just to make yeah. the highlights easier. Yeah, I kind of do a similar thing, but, like, kind of, I guess, more, like, on, like, the yellow-pink scale. Yeah. Sometimes. I didn't with this piece of art, but... So I was gonna go with my normal green turquoise, um, but I've been thinking a lot about apples, so I ended up changing my mind and going with like ah, a green look. I see. Um, because like I, I, I'm pretty sure like the other day um, I just like unlocked a childhood repressed memory. I'm just like at my dad's farm eating wild crab apples with my sister. So like I was like, oh, I like crab apples. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely kind of went with the more green, because like, green is my favorite color. Like, I don't yeah. really like the more turquoise ones, but like, green is just forever. Definitely my favorite color. Um, and like, I play around with it um, a few times, like, I end up changing some stuff up. Um, yeah, I ended up accidentally coloring that, the bright green, because I was like, oh, I forgot that it has to be gold. <laughs> It's fine. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, so, I, I don't know, I'm like, just kind of a chill little thing. So, uh, this is Mew Mew Apple. so cute. Um, and so I ended up putting an apple in there. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still mad that I like, after I finished my recording, I was like, shit, I gotta put honeycombs. <laughs> In the background, I just gonna put honey pat, like honeycomb patterning. I'm just, but I no, feel bad I'm a fool. You didn't, you didn't notice until it was like already rendered out and everything too. You're like, yeah. no. <laughs> After such a terrible, oh, the rendering process is horrendous. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to do the same thing just because like you can only speed it up so much and then you have to render it out and speed it up again. Like it's it sucks. sucks but... I mean, like, it, yeah, because, like, we needed a specific length to talk about stuff. 
But, and then now we dive into how I normally do my shading. So normally I just uh, slap some shit on the clip layer, get a nice purple going, and then I just slap that shit on multiply, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, it's just like, it's definitely learning like learning to do it that way like definitely opened my eyes a lot to how i was doing it before because by doing it this way you retain so much color yeah by shading like this and like i have a really bad problem of all of my when i shade using just colors alone mm. whereas like if i take a brown and i take a darker brown everything turns out really muddy um so here's me changing to a lighter purple so it doesn't look as bad um, on the outfit because like that that first purple was just too dark yeah and then I had to grab the, the other purple because you know I professionally took that color away <laughs> on my... whoops yeah it's um, like I know I've like th I either used to do it like this, or like I keep thinking about it, but every time I do shading, I end up doing like it the long way. Yeah. Well, and like, I mean, that's a good way to do it for like definitely more a painter style is to yeah. do it the way before. Um, but like, I don't know. My stuff's pretty cartoony, and like, I don't mind doing it like this. And it does make my art pop a lot because like it if, does. You look up, if you look at a lot of my old art you'll you'll kind of see that like it gets pretty muddy and the colors are very muted and like a lot of times i have to fix saturation afterwards so this is just a little mm. bit easier on me <laughs> and as you can see i totally forget to shade the tail uh, it's fine it's fine <laughs> i do catch it later but yeah it looks dark enough and it it's, looks like a shadow anyway. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it looks like it's in the shadow, it's fine. And then I like to, sometimes if I'm feeling cheeky, I will go in um, with like an orange on the skin tones. Um, hmm. To just kind of like, that's because like up. for cooler tones, you'll want to shade with a, a purple. Um, but if you have like brighter, warmer tones, you do want to go in kind of with an orange on multiply. Yeah, you kind of want to go with more secondaries than the because primary. Because it'll just make it look gross if you don't. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of added this in because like sometimes you can get away with a nice purple on a skin tone. Um, and then lately I've been kind of doing this uh, with my highlighting is I will just oh go yeah. In with a brighter color, um, I'll put that on. I'll put the layer on color dodge, and then I'll go into layer effects and do an outer glow on it to make mm. it look really bright. Because yeah. I'm a hoe for neon, and like <laughs> it looks so cool. It's like one of my one of my tricks. <laughs> but then I go like crazy with highlights because I love having bright and colorful saturated pictures. It's just like my fucking uh, 14 game with my uh, Oh yeah, how you like shade my, it. My my shader settings. Everything is just, everybody's like, how can you deal with this much saturation? And I'm like, ah, I like it though. Yeah, and then I was just like, good old uh, Fuck yeah. I love it. Yeah, so. Oh wait. <laughs> we're oh. not done yet. <laughs> oh, you added the yep, yep, yep. I, this is also like a very signature art thing where I do the outline and then I just do. Oh yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> so there's Mimi Apple. Uh, this is so cute. <laughs> Thank oh, fuck. You. Dude, fuck man. This was so much fun. I had so much it fun. It was. Challenge. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> Same. I'm glad we went with this like earlier than they get like what are the prompts we've like chosen for like one of the guest artists because like yeah. we were originally gonna like do that probably earlier but like i'm glad we're doing that for yeah like, zambi i am too uh we're not gonna tell you the prompts yet just because no. it's a secret and ex it's, it's secret exciting. it's fun on reveal it's fun on reveal yeah um so yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this because we really enjoy doing these. Uh, it's super and... fun and very, like, 
Very chill. What's the word? <laughs> it's also like good to like make it makes us draw. Yeah, and like to be honest, I miss having more art focused content. Um, mm -hmm. Cause for a while there it was just kind of games and then, but the problem with games is I get burnt out on games a lot or I get to the point where I'm like, I'll play a game, but I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. So like it makes recording games as my, like the only thing on the channel, very hard for me to do. Mm -hmm. um, so just kind of having this creative outlet where we can like come back and talk about some of our decisions and everything like that. It's, it's a lot of fun and I'm glad people are enjoying it. Hell yeah. But uh, we will catch you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.